We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Xavier Howard, Miami Dolphins corner, and I thought this game versus the Chiefs was the best he's played all season, and honestly, probably the best game, like, overall he's played in quite some time, just, like, from start to finish, he was very consistent. I think there's a few different reasons for that. One, he's fully healthy, which is huge. I think letting him rest up, you know, probably an extra week or two than he actually needed to and could have played to allow him to be 100% really helped. I also think, you know, the Jalen Ramsey effect is huge. It takes just some responsibility off his shoulders. And then now you have Ramsey in the secondary on the opposite side. It allows him to sit over there, you know, in this system, this Fangio scheme. I think he's a great fit. That's another reason. And everyone's becoming more and more comfortable. Fangio's realizing that he can call more things, be a little more uh, versatile with his play calling. And Howard's just over here being able to sit on routes, anticipate, doesn't have to play man-to-man -man with his back to the QB all the time now like he did in the other schemes. And he can, you know, use his ball hawking skills, come downhill, bait some throws, just like, you know, X is very good at so i look think he's very comfortable at making these plays and he really got to showcase that in this game from start to finish here dolphins are in quads so he's just playing quarters technique at the top here outside leverage and you can just tell he's anticipating this like just by his footwork he's expecting this receiver to break and he breaks into him he's running like a seven stop and howard's just in the perk position the whole time once he leans in guy gets physical he stays with it and look at him just mirror and match this perfectly and then make a play. Get your hands out at the catch point. You know, sometimes he can be a little overly physical, get some holding and some PIs. But here he plays this very, very nicely because that receiver is one who like uh, initiates the contact. But Howard, just a high level player, especially like he's one of the better ball hawk corners in the league, even when he's not playing as like his best, you know, best self. But th that anticipation sk skill can help a lot. And he's always at his best when he has another elite corner opposite of him. And Ramsey and him can be a very, very quality duo if they are playing like they have been uh, just in these couple games Ramsey's played in this last game where Howard returned. So I'm very much looking forward to how the secondary plays as a whole after the bye. Dolphins ran quads a decent amount in this game. They don't run quads a ton until they get down in the red zone running quarters, things like that. But... Clearly, they had that game plan. I think, you know, specifically going for the Chiefs, it was something that they wanted to do. Plus, I think uh, it allows, he felt more comfortable doing this type of thing with Ramsey and Howard both out there. But here he's got 101 basically going versus Justin Watson, who attacks inside vertically. This kind of puts him in a tough spot because he knew he has that safety help in that inside quarters there. But he bends this back on the outside and he just maintains that low outside leverage. He's able to recover, get back in phase, get that hand. Uh, into that like hip pocket of the receiver stay with him able to run with him side for side because this guy creates a little bit of separation here and he just closes this angle fast just because he had good positioning on this and then uh the only way this gets completed after he's able to get in phase here is maybe like a perfect throw over the shoulder and the receiver had had to make an amazing catch but howard played so amazingly we've seen him you know play quarters twice now versus two different things where one they try to attack him deep another one they're trying to break up underneath him and howard uh just maintain some good positioning and leverage throughout. I think he's always been a pretty intelligent football player when it comes to these things like reading routes, uh, like route leverage, understanding, you know, their body language and things like that. And Howard puts himself in a good position on those first two plays. We know he can be on the backside and just mirrored match. Basically, Dolphins are running like, you know, a version of like three match cover three type stuff. And it basically just means he's man to man on the backside pretty much no matter what. And you can just see him inching back staying square he's always you know gonna be very comfortable doing this stuff reading you know what the receiver is doing he gets that inside break and now he's just staying in the hip pocket he's ready to undercut this he knows just he loves to undercut routes too but look at him just mirror and match that to perfection no separation allowed there doesn't get overly physical everything tech uh, technique wise is good and then they get run their game up front they get some pressure on Mahomes force him to throw it away this combination of this front and what they're doing right now and the secondary playing their coverage is making it very difficult for quarterbacks and I'm excited to see this new defense versus even lesser you know opponents because I think uh now that everyone's healthy because really you could see a little bit versus the Patriots not the greatest offense but they weren't like fully completely healthy in the secondary yet and then this Chiefs game versus the best quarterback in the league, Travis Kelsey. They shut them down, especially after that first drive. It was very, very awesome to watch. I do like that they're allowing Rams or Howard to press on the backside of like these three by one formations because Ramsey and Howard don't switch sides. That's like the thing with Fangio saying they're just going to stay on their side, which I don't mind because I feel comfortable with all of them. They don't really need to shadow. Like clearly they showed, Fangio shows that we don't need to shadow with how they played Kelsey in this game without shadowing him. 
uh, pretty effectively. Maybe in certain games there might be a need for it, but right now I kind of like what they're doing. And then allowing him to press on the back side of this, because he's very comfortable with this. He has a lot of experience pressing, uh, staying square, staying patient, getting hands on. And then once this guy tries to, you know, get that release to the inside, he knows Howard gets his hand straight into the chest, tries to fight back to the outside. Howard's able to stay in phase, uh, get hands on, maybe getting a little too holdy there, but it's still within five yards, so it's not like the most noticeable thing. He lets go of it pretty quickly, and now he's just playing that low inside shoulder leverage, and he's ready for the route break. He's reading the hips of the receiver. He sees, even though this receiver is like selling so much with his upper body, he knows that he's trying to break to the inside. Just great anticipation skills, and that's never had a chance to be completed. This is a third and five situation. He throws it to the other side of the field, but just looking at X, his ability, like very intelligent, understanding what receivers are trying to do, and just being in the right spot. And when he's fully healthy, he's able to, you know, actually match these things and uh, i think this fangio system is allowing him to play at his full potential right now with how he was used with ramsey on the opposite side three high coverage basically playing deep third to this side of the field look how he comes downhill makes a tackle which is nice to see i mean x hasn't always been the strongest tackling type it's not really like his game but this is nice to see because he's able to get over the top because he's they're in empty right here two receivers to this side he's able to get, like he sees number one cheat to the inside sit right here uh, down low but he's able to also go over and leverage number two even take away some of that and then he sees Mahomes looking to this side uh, they're basically bracketing him right now and once he helps Holland you know get control of the number two he's able to come down transition and then make this tackle for basically they only gain like a yard on the play which is nice to see X getting downhill making some open field tackles uh good recognition skills there as well from X Dolphins in some cover six here we get to see Howard play as like the cover two corner at the bottom because I feel like Ramsey played a lot like the as on the cover two side a lot in this game we need to see x do it a whole ton not a lot of Howard and Ramsey did get give up one catch in this situation in the sky more if you saw my defensive film breakdown video and this is how x is able to play it he's you know making sure uh Rice doesn't get that outside release he's chose that little jab right there to the outside and how he's ready to you know reroute him if he does that but he picks that inside release does basically what he wants him to do so he just sort of throws him by he sees their running back working out into the flat but he basically has to leverage both of these routes maybe you want to see him gain an extra step deep because this ball could be completed here to number four um, but he does have the deep half help over the top it's just a tough position if it's put towards the sideline for him to make a play on this Plus, this guy's cheating a little to the inside because he's seeing Mahomes escape. That's why he looks like he's so far away. But I do like seeing Howard at least leveraging these things. You know, being in a decent position could play it a tiny bit better. But I do think he has some pretty good zone awareness instincts that he can do this stuff uh, in this defense. At next play, that play was holding, so they called it back. It's third and 20. Howard does a good job maintaining his depth. Understanding the situation. They're playing quarters again. This is a this is the big uh, strip sack, I believe. Yes, and uh, Howard is on the backside of a three by one. Sees what this receiver is doing. It's a third and twenty situation. He sees that these guys are chipping to his side of the field, so they're gonna be out a little bit later. It's fine if they throw it underneath. They come down, make a tackle. He's not just committing to this because if he commits down on eighty three, uh, Kelsey is working across the field and would get over the top. But Howard gains depth to take that away, and now they have two guys to help on this. Mahomes is trying to escape, gets sacked underneath. Good job by the whole secondary, but X just playing patient, disciplined, understanding his responsibilities. This was the big Kohu uh, deflection incompletion on 39, but also Howard had great coverage. Everyone else on the backside, like over here in the uh, bunch, seemed a little confused and slightly out of position, but they had still good coverage. And then Kohu was one on one deep. And then Howard, just backside. They kept him on the backside of some 3 by ones Multiple times, he got to play press versus these receivers. Was not scared. Look at him just run the route for that receiver. That's beautiful mirror and match. Uh, doesn't even need to get hands on this time. He can play, you know, some mirror technique. No hands, a little more of a soft press. And then just look at him feel this route break anticipation and his feet just match the receivers perfectly right at the break right there it's super special stuff this never had a chance to being the target here uh probably had the best coverage on that whole play and then kohu makes an amazing play that was a huge turning point love that what this defense brings uh with howard and ramsey on the outside i like kohu and needham as their nickel and dime options on the inside holland and elliott when both on the field have played like one of the better safety duos in the league I think the secondary could truly be special. The off-ball linebackers are playing at a higher level. David Long's been amazing over the past, like, three, four games. Baker's played at a more consistent level. 
their edge defenders when they're fully healthy because Chubb's playing super high level. Phillips is back and healthy and is playing amazing, probably their best pass rusher. Van Ginkle's been great all season long and can play both off ball and at the edge. And Wilkins and Sealer, always consistent versus the run and been playing better as pass rusher this season in this new system. So I think the defense truly is hitting a different level right now. They've had their struggle games in the past and they might have some struggles in the future, but overall I feel a lot more comfortable with them on a consistent basis for the rest of the year. X really, really good game. I think that's a huge thing to show because X could be kind of question mark with how he's played over the past couple of seasons, but with Ramsey opposite him, this is a good sign for what is to come to the future. And so if you guys are the video, make sure to like, subscribe to the get to the beast.